hello friends welcome to my channel today in this video we are going to make this northern diamond square pattern and i am going to make a clutch out of this square so for this square we need yarn of two colors the choice of colors depend on you a pair of scissors and i am going to use a hook of 2.5 mm for this project so we have to begin with yarn of color a and with slip knot Now chain 1, 2, 3, 4. We have to go back to the first chain, insert the hook in, yarn over, pull through both the loops as a slip stitch. Now foundation ring is ready. Chain 1, 2, 3, which counts as a double crochet, yarn over, insert the hook into the ring, pull through, pull through 2, pull through 2. Double crochet two, double crochet three, chain two for chain three. This is the first side of the square. For the second side of the square, double crochet one, two, and three. Chain two for chain space. So complete two more sides of the square following the same pattern, and we will meet again when the square would be completed. When these four sides of the square are complete, we have to do chain 2. Now we have to join the stitches into the first, second, third chain of the first stitch with slip stitch. Now the square is complete. On the top of the first stitch, chain 3, which counts as a double crochet. On the top of the next stitch, double crochet 2. 3 on the top of the next stitch into the chain space of 2 double crochet 1 double crochet 2 chain 2 for chain space into the same chain space of 2 double crochet 1 double crochet 2 on the top of the next stitch double crochet one one double crochet on the top of the next stitch one double crochet on the top of the next stitch into the chain space of two double crochet one double crochet two chain two for chain space so for each side of the square in this round we will have one two three four five six seven double crochet follow the same pattern and complete the round we will meet again when this round would be completed when the round is complete we join the stitches on the top of the fourth stitch with slip stitch now on the top of the fourth stitch chain three which counts as a double crochet double crochet two on the top of the next stitch three on the top of the next stitch four on the top of the next five on the top of the next stitch into this chain space of two double crochet one double crochet two chain two for chain space into the same chain space of two for the second side of the square double crochet one double crochet two now on the top of 7 stitches of the previous round, we have to do 7 double crochet. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, into the chain space of two double crochet one double crochet two chain two for chain space now for each side of the square we will have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven stitches so follow the same pattern and complete the round we will meet again when this round would be completed when the round is complete, 
we each join the stitches on the top of the first stitch with trip stitch now we have to cut the yarn from here because we are going to continue with yarn of color B so pull through and pull through tight B now we are going to begin with slip knot we have to join the yarn into the chain space of two with single crochet into the same chain space of two single crochet two on the top of the next stitch single crochet one two on the top of the next stitch three on the top of the next stitch four five Now there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 stitches remaining. Now wrap the yarn 1, 2, 3 times. We have to go back to the second round. Into the first stitch, insert the hook from the back to the front. Yarn over, pull through, pull through 2. Pull through two, pull through two. Hold two loops on the hook. Wrap the yarn one, two, three times on your hook into the last stitch of the cluster of the second round. Insert the hook from the back to the front. Pull through, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Now there are three loops on the hook, pull through all the three. Skip the sixth stitch on the top of remaining five stitches we have to do five single crochet. Two, three, four, five. Into the chain space of two, single crochet one, single crochet two, chain two for chain space into the same chain space of two single crochet one single crochet two on the top of the next stitch single crochet one single crochet two three four five now wrap the yarn one two three times on your hook we have to go back to the second round insert the hook from the back to the front of the first stitch of the cluster pull through pull through two pull through two pull through two hold two loops on the hook wrap the yarn one two three times on the hook insert the hook from the back to the front into the last stitch of the cluster pull through pull through two pull through two pull through two now there are three loops on the hook pull through all the three skip sixth stitch on the top of remaining five stitches we have to do five single crochet one two three four five into the chain space of two single crochet one single crochet two chain two for chain space Follow the same pattern and complete the round. We will meet again when this round would be completed. When the round is complete, we have to cut the yarn from here because we are going to continue with yarn of color A again for the next round. So we have to begin with slip knot. Now we have to join the yarn into this chain space of two with slip stitch chain one two three which counts as a double crochet into the same chain space of two double crochet two on the top of the next stitch double crochet one on the top of the next stitch double crochet one 
one double crochet on the top of the next stitch one double crochet on the top of the next stitch one double crochet on the top of the next stitch one double crochet on the top of the next so we have to do one double crochet on the top of each stitch across this side of the square now on the top of these two front posts treble crochet double crochet one double crochet one on the top of the next stitch one double crochet on the top of the next stitch one double crochet on the top of the next double crochet one on the top of the next stitch one double crochet on the top of the next stitch one double crochet on the top of the next now into the chain space of two double crochet one double crochet two chain two for chain space follow the same pattern and complete the round we will meet again when this round would be completed to the end of the round we have to cut the yarn from here because we are going to continue with yarn of color B so we have to begin with slip knot now we have to join the yarn into this chain space of two with single crochet single crochet two into the same chain space of two on the top of the next stitch single crochet one single crochet one on the top of the next stitch single crochet one on the top of the next stitch single crochet one on the top of the next so we have to do single crochet one on the top of all the stitches but when we come to the top of these two front post treble crochet we have to wrap the yarn and insert the hook from the back to the front to both these front post treble crochet pull through pull through two pull through two front post double crochet now we have to skip the stitch that is behind this stitch and now we are going to continue doing single crochet on the top of all the stitches across this side of the square single crochet one on the top of the next stitch single crochet one on the top of the next stitch and single crochet one on the top of the next stitch into this chain space of two single crochet one single crochet two chain two for chain space follow the same pattern and complete this edging across the round and we will meet again when this square would be completed the square is complete we cut the yarn from here now we are going to join these two squares with simple stitches so we need a needle and yarn of color B and now we are going to join these two ends together with simple stitches so complete joining these two squares and suppose this is the front part of the clutch this would be the back part of the clutch so join these two squares and these two squares together and after that we have to join one two and three ends so complete joining these squares and these three ends one two and three and we will meet again when these ends would be joined when we have completed joining these three ends one two and three with needle and thread 
we are going to do edging for this clutch and for this edging we have to do chain 1 2 3 into the same stitch double crochet 1 into the same stitch double crochet 2 now we have to skip 1 2 on the top of the third stitch join these stitches with slip stitch chain 1 2 3 again into the same stitch double crochet 1 into the same stitch double crochet 2 now we have to skip 1 2 stitches on the top of the next stitch join these stitches with slip stitch chain 1 2 3 again into the same stitch double crochet 1 into the same stitch double crochet 2 skip 2 stitches join these stitches with slip stitch chain 1 2 3 now keep on repeating the pattern in the same way and complete 3 ends that we join together with this edging and we will meet again when this edging would be completed on these one two and three sides of this clutch we have completed doing edging on three sides of this clutch we are going to join zipper to the mouth of this clutch and we have to join this zipper with simple stitches with the help of needle and thread in this way so complete joining this zipper to the mouth of the clutch and we will meet again when this zipper would be added to the mouth of the clutch this clutch is going to look like this when it will be completed this pattern is very easy and grows fast so this can be a very good gifting option too thank you so much